I remember growing up back on the East Coast back in the 80s and hearing about the condors on the news and the plight of the condors and thinking, wow, wouldn't it be great if I could be involved? And here I am 30 years later and I'm involved. I think when people see them, they're, they're surprised at how large they are. Wingspan, 10 feet, you know, that's the length of a car. And the width of the wings is over two feet. So to have that bird fly 20 feet over your head, you can actually hear them coming in like a plane. For a bird, they're extremely heavy. They weigh in upwards of 20 pounds. They're just incredible. Everything about them is nature's perfect glider. And they can go 150, 200 miles in a day searching for food. And condors are obligate scavengers, so they're only looking for animals that have already died. And that's their important role in the bigger scheme of things, is getting down to clean up these dead animals that can proliferate disease, uh, sicken other populations they're feeding on. And it's a really important animal to our ecosystem. Condors are managed collaboratively through different partnerships. Ventana Wildlife Society, we work in accordance with U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and also the zoos partake. Now the Oakland Zoo is involved. Uh, Los Angeles Zoo and San Diego Zoo have been involved on the captive breeding side. And then also you have Pinnacles National Monument, who we partner with in Central California. It's a huge team effort, in addition to the support from the public. Antana Wildlife Society has been releasing condors the last 15 years. And what we do is bring condors up that are raised in the zoos and release them into the wild. And I spend a lot of my time chasing the birds around after they get released and seeing where they go, where they nest. Probably the fun part of the job. The tough part of our job is finding out there's threats still out there for the birds. There's been over 500 peer-reviewed scientific articles written on the impacts of lead ammunition to wildlife on over 130 different species uh, worldwide. Um, it's not just a California thing, it's not just a condor thing, it's a wildlife health issue. In July of 2008, a new law went into effect that requires the use of non-lead ammunition. But what we found was that people need to want to change in, or, in order for a law like that to be more effective. And we decided that we wanted to help hunters and ranchers make a switch. So we started providing free non-lead ammunition just this past year. And we are really happy with the results. Well, just this morning, we had two condors in our holding pen and we were testing for lead. Thankfully, both of them were cleared. They did not have dangerous levels of lead in their system, so they were released right away. But it's not uncommon to test for lead poisoning and find a bird that's suffering from, from lead poisoning and we need to get that bird treatment. The Oakland Zoo's role in the California Condor Recovery Project is to treat injured and sick birds, specifically birds that are found in the wild that have been poisoned by lead. So when the bird comes in here, we are doing what's called chelation therapy, which is basically a drug that we give the birds, plus some supportive care, fluid therapy, feeding, and then that drug will pull the lead out of the blood and hopefully flush it out of the body and allow the bird to have a normal blood lead level, which is almost zero. I think there's an interesting parallel here between the bald eagle and the California condor in that a long time ago, bald eagles were the ones that were almost extinct, and, and now their numbers have rebounded. Well, why? Because people cared enough to save them. Well, we have a different kind of a problem here in the condor, which is lead from spent ammunition, but it's the same story, isn't it? We have to care enough to save these birds, and if we don't, they're gonna be gone forever. They, if given a chance, would survive in the wild again, and I want my kids to see that. Just like when I was a kid, I could hardly find a bald eagle. Well, now they're very common. I'd like the same thing for condors.